Ah. Well, boys, it's that time of year. It's summer, as I explained it in a couple videos ago. It's spillway season. So, as you guys can see, it's clearly raining today, and it's the weather's not too nice. I got the light tackle setup again, because you guys love the light tackle setup videos, you know. I got the 1000 on the Avid Inshore 6 to 12 pound rod. We're gonna head out to the Everglades. I'm checking one of the local spillways right now. But we're gonna head out to the Everglades and uh, see if we can catch some snook and tarpons. So stay tuned. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Well, we're at one of the local spillways. Not a spillway, kind of a spillway. But it's not even flowing as hard as it usually is and uh, there's nothing. So it's time to head to the Everglades. So yeah, it's not flowing that hard. So we're gonna hop back in the car and uh, we're gonna go smack some tarpon and snook in the Everglades. I gotta pick up my buddy Miguel first. So uh, let's go do that. And uh, we'll catch you guys when we're in the glades at the spillway. All right, so as you can see, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't pull up yet. Don't pull up yet. Cast. Yeah, I'm about to go back to the little tarpon. Yeah, I know, these right? Yeah, let's go. Let, Grab let the let fucking under. Let this place rest a little bit. They're everywhere over there too. We'll catch them for sure. All right, guys. So there's a bunch of tarpon. I'm gonna see if I can catch them on the little DOA cow. Oh, I just got bumped. There's so many tarpon, dude. Look, one just rolled right there. Got one. Stuck one. There we go. Oh, oh, there, and there he goes. Gotta tie my drag up a bit. Those are the really small ones. Maybe if I pop it. You got hit? You got one? Oh, you got one. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's one for one so far. One, one for, for one. one. Wait. There you go, that's one for one. <laughs> Look at that little, little silver guy. king right there. Oh, let's see. Big tarpon. Oh, I got one. Hasn't jumped. What do I have? Oh, it's not a tarpon. What is it? It is a tarpon. He's just so small. Bro, he's so fat, dude. Little tarpon. I'm going to 
Oh. You got hit eating shit. Can you, imagine the you got him. Another little tarpon. I just got hit too. Bring him over here. Look at him. Hey, 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 hey. That's two for two so far. They're just busting everywhere. All right, don't worry. <laughs> That's what I didn't want. Damn, the snook that I lost on the sports deck was nice. Yeah, but the tarpon are disappearing slowly. Never mind. I got hit. <laughs> I'm gonna open the pool, like the, 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 the drive, so in the wrong pool. Another little guy. And of course, there he goes. Father, father. A nicer one, dude. You got a nicer one. As soon as I turn the GoPro off, that's like a 10 pounder. Oh, one is right there. Woo. Here, bring him right here. I'll find him. Go left, 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 left. Oh, that's a nicer one. Oh, yeah. Slowly, slowly. Just keep tension. This way. Hey. Slowly, slowly. I don't want to pull him up. Look at that. That's a bigger one. That's a nice one. That's a fatty too. <laughs> Look at that. On the TZ, munch the... Calm down there, bud. Oh, we couldn't get a relief on that tarpon because it has somehow escaped. You can see that on his story at... Salt Great talk. <laughs> Here, give me a <laughs> I forgot it. Salt Life underscore Maze, if I'm not mistaken. Got him. Is it a snook? Yeah. Snook. Yes. yes. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Are you calm? Let's go. You want the picture? Nah. I saw this snook chasing bait right there through a little TV and we got him. Thank you, buddy. We are back at the house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little Everglades trip. Uh, but yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking what what is the blue rod and what setup I have for the, the ultra light tackle that you guys have been seeing a lot. So the reel is a 1000 size Stratic. Uh, I have eight pound braid on it. I used around 20 to 40 pound liter mainly. And then the rod is a St. Croix Avid Inshore 6 through 12 pound line rating. So yeah, if you guys want to get it for yourself, it's a very nice setup and uh, it's very light too. But yeah, so as you guys can see, we're back at the house, back at the pond. And as you guys can see, I have not even finished the pond yet. I still got to put a bunch of mangroves and a bunch of rocks inside so the fish can hide to make it look nice for them. But that's for next video, so if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff for me down below. It would really help. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next episode. Peace!